It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Thanks for joining us, folks. Today, folks, we're going to learn about aquatic therapy at the Health and Wellness Center at Hazleton. Yeah, this is interesting, folks, because there's a lot involved with aquatic therapy. Uh, and today on the show, we have two of the pros. We have Gene Myers, who is the aquatic therapist, um, and uh, he's a physical therapy assistant, and Dale Ambosi, who is a physical therapist. Now, uh, first of all, gentlemen, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having us. I know when I was up to, a while back, we, we were there at the place. It's, yep. first of all, it's first class. Um, but give me a, a little bit about your background. You're an aquatic therapist. Yes. Does that uh, mean you're in the water all the time? Yes. Uh, I have a, I'm a physical therapist assistant. Uh, I've been doing this 20 years. The first seven years I did land-based therapy, and the last 13 I got involved with aquatic therapy. Uh -huh. Now, aquatic therapy is, of course, it's water, but mm -hmm. uh, what's, when did this start coming into therapeutic help? Uh, aquatic therapy is basically just physical therapy that's done in a pool. Uh, the pool provides lots of benefits which makes the exercise more user-friendly per se. Uh, the buoyancy from the water reduces the weight for the patient, so thus it makes it easier to move along with the water being 94 degrees, which is compliant with the arthritic guidelines. Uh, it's just a, a really good environment to loosen up muscles and just to make the movement of the exercise a lot easier for the patient as a start to build on uh, for land-based therapy in the future. Okay, now uh, they say swimming is very good exercise. Okay, why is, is it, first of all, is it a very good exercise? Yeah, swimming is, but this is different than the swimming. Uh, the, the thing with the water, there's no impact as well as the swimming would be too. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot easier on the joints uh, so you get the benefit of exercising without the, the impact. Okay, so what I'm trying to make, the relationship in fact is that when you're swimming, you're, you're, you're not exercising your, your, um, your muscles, etc. At the aquatic center, all right, mm -hmm. um, wh well, like who would, be, um, who would be qualified to go into the aquatic area? As a patient. Yes. Yeah, what types of patients yeah. are? Uh, anybody you need to be a patient. Correct. Okay. Yep. Uh, you need to go to see a doc your, your doctor. Uh, they would give you a script for physical therapy, aquatic therapy, uh, and then the, a physical therapist like Dale would do an evaluation on the patient and then refer them back to aquatic therapy uh, if they would feel that the patient needs that. Uh, I, I see a lot of low back patients, okay. fibromyalgia, okay. general deconditioning, knee replacements, hip replacements uh, after the wounds healed. Uh, and all those types of patients do really well with the aquatic therapy. So how does that separate, uh, Gene, from uh, just going to regular therapy, physical therapy, uh, versus aquatic therapy? Because there's tons of people getting their hips done and knees done and, and fibromyalgia, which is interesting, okay? Um, but before I get into specifics, how does, that, um, how does that benefit more than just going to get physical therapy. Right, well, the, the, as I said, the, the water makes the, it easier on the patient. Uh, it takes away a lot of their pain uh, as opposed to doing like the land-based uh, exercises where they would have maybe some little discomfort. Or if the patient starts on land and they're not having uh, good results or, or discomfort from it, the therapist might try the aquatic therapy uh, as an easier form uh, of exercise for the patient. All right, so if I had a hip replacement knee or, or any kind of muscle uh, problem, uh, first of all, I'd have to go to my doctor to get a prescription. Correct. Okay, they prescribe to do a, a aquatic therapy. Now, when they come to you, all mm -hmm. right. So you're saying it's a degree of pain. I mean, so people, I'm, because there are tons of people up there at the um, health and wellness center are, are doing physical therapy and mm -hmm. they're doing fine. Right. Well, what what brings them? You're saying when the pain level is higher than what it should be, that's when you come into the picture? Yes and no. Uh, like I said, muscle weakness, deconditioning, if they were doing exercises on land or, or entering the therapy in a state where they wouldn't tolerate a land-based therapist, then a therapist like Dale would make that decision mm -hmm. to say, hey, let's try the pool. This might be easier to get you a little bit stronger mm -hmm. and then proceed you know, with a land-based exercise uh, program maybe in a month, too, when the patient would get strengthened 
pain so would decrease. So you're saying the physical therapist could decide whether that person is advancing the way they should Correct. before they go into aquatic therapy. Correct. Right. And I speak with the, the therapist in conjunction and mm -hmm. the therapist is in touch with the doctors because we follow what the doctors would uh, order. All right. So the person is um, not having the best, you know, with the, the regular physical therapist and then you decide, uh, Dale, that they should go to aquatic therapy, okay? So mm -hmm. they, is that correct? Sometimes the, the physician will actually um, refer them right for aquatic therapy right from the start, um, but sometimes they'll just have a script to come in for physical therapy and on their evaluation when we assess them, sometimes we'll feel that it's appropriate for them to be in aquatic therapy. Mm -hmm. So then what we will do, we'll write orders and, and contact the physician um, and coordinate with Gene and set up the aquatic therapy program. So I'm sure there's uh, the results oriented as to the people who do aquatic therapy, okay, versus regular physical therapy, okay. Um, what are the the percentages? In other words, do you are you, you heal faster with aquatic therapy versus physical therapy? If you mm -hmm. you know. Some people tolerate it very well. And again, Gene said that the temperature of the water is at 94 degrees, so it does have um, you know, a relaxation effect on the muscles, uh, the tissues, the soft tissue, especially if there are people that have muscle spasms. Um, the pressure in the water also is good for, um, the hydrostatic pressure is good for inflammation um, okay. and, and the pain, just as though if you had a, um, a sprained ankle and you wrapped it with a bandage, that's that compression force of the water is doing the same thing as that, as that brace would or that, you know, that wrap would. So it's helping in that way. So who qualifies for this? I mean, I'm watching TV now and I'm watching you guys and we're talking about aquatic therapy and, and I'm having some soreness or aches and pains or whatever, my, my knee, my back, my, you know, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't do the exercises because I, I'm assuming aquatic therapy is, is a lot easier than doing physical exercise because the water is helping you, is that correct? That is the whole correct. major reason for aquatic therapy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so all right, so now I'm, I'm not up to par, so to agree, I know I'm having some makes, especially fibromyalgia, I mean there's a lot of people who have that. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanna to get to that specifically in a, in a second, but so how, how do I then say, well maybe this is aquatic, because maybe I'm a little overweight, you know, and I, I really can't move the way I like to move. Um, uh, what, what should I do? Well, you could go to your doctor and, and express to them, you know, the, the trouble that you're having as far as mobility and your level of function. And then from there, if they refer um, you to our can clinic. Can they request, you know, can they request saying, you know, I saw the show, mm -hmm. you know, they're talking about aquatic therapy. It's, it's a, a good opportunity for me to hopefully feel better, get mm -hmm. my joints moving, et cetera. Can they, I'm it's, sure they could request that. It's right? definitely a discussion that they could have with their physician, you know, and then from there, if they come to us, we could do a full evaluation um, to see their level of function and go from there um, and see if they would be better with a land-based program where they're on just regular ground doing exercises or if they'd be better in the pool, and, which is, you know, the aquatic So uh, the, mere fact, the, the mere fact that you, they, they know they have a, a concern or a problem or, mm -hmm. you know, with their joints or whatever. So then once they, you're assessing them, okay, and mm -hmm. they, they would come to you or after the doctor checks yep. them out or whatever. And is that how normally you get your patients? Um, is it through, uh, you know, like who, uh, how, how do you get the separation from just doing the physical ex uh, exercise versus the aquatic therapies? So we'll receive a referral from either a physician, a physician assistant, or a nurse practitioner. Um, even podiatrists sometimes refer their patients to us. And then from there, they come in for their initial evaluation. Um, after that, if it's determined that they're you know, appropriate for aquatic therapy, we set up a plan of care uh, with exercises and uh, different goals for them and how many times a week as far as frequency goes. Uh, and then they will start the aquatic therapy program and they will be reevaluated usually in four weeks. Okay, so now water's water, okay? Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, are there, are there different, 
I'm sure there is, but are there different techniques? For example, how do you treat a person who has maybe a hip replacement or knee replacement or whatever versus fibromyalgia? Are there different techniques, uh, Gene, that you have? Yeah, to and, they, and that's all patient-based. Uh, any patient that ends up in the pool with me, the, the program, the aquatic program, uh, is designed specifically for them and their needs. So, you know, uh, somebody that has a sore back, per se, wouldn't be doing exercises that I would give somebody with a sore foot. Uh, per se. It's all on that patient's needs. And then the program's adjusted uh, uh, with consulting with the therapist. Uh, hey, I want to try this with this patient, you know, in that sense that it's, it's the program is advanced uh, as the patient gets stronger in the pool. So run me, because we're not at the location, run me through a, a reenactment of, of a person. Let's assume a person has fibromyalgia. What, what would you do? Uh, the, the main thing with a, a fibromyalgia uh, type uh, issue is getting that patient moving again and that's where the water takes the edge off uh, the exercises that they would experience online. Aerobic conditioning is a, a strong part of that so uh, the, the pool uh, at the aquatic center does have a, a motorized treadmill in it so the patient would usually start with you know depending on the patient's level between a 5 and 20 minute walk on the treadmill which would be built in you know if they start at 5 maybe in 4 weeks they might be up to that uh, 20 minutes I would advance them as the patient's able to tolerate uh, and then there would be uh, a, a, a list uh, of different exercises that I would use for that patient uh, lower extremity and upper extremity and if the patient would get discomfort or doesn't feel right with a lower extremity exercise then I wouldn't do that. We'd work around it or try to modify it so it wouldn't bother the patient. So each particular um, uh, ailment is, is designed, tailor-made to what you would do for them. Correct. You wouldn't do the same thing for a fibromyalgia versus a person who has a back problem. Correct. Okay. Now, uh, I don't swim other than if I had flippers on. I'm like, I'm, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> you know, I have to put flippers on to go in this, the pool. Now, isn't that something? I mean, I could jump. With flippers, I could jump in the ocean. If I don't have flippers, I go right down. But do I have to know how to swim? No, you don't need to uh, know how to swim. The water is only four foot deep. Uh -huh. uh, in the section where the treadmill is, uh, the water is four foot six. So okay. it's, it's basically chest level yeah, yeah. on everybody. If you do get a person sometimes uh, that is a little bit shorter, the upper landing is four foot and they could do the exercises there. Mm -hmm. uh, they wouldn't need to get down to the treadmill. They could be accommodated in the, the, the less deep section. Now you said you've been doing this for 10 years. Yep. Okay. So I'm sure, you know, um, uh, you have seen some uh, success stories here. Okay. Some people come in um, and after, uh, is it, how many times does a person have to come? Is it uh, depending on what the ailment is? Yeah, it's usually two to three times a week. Uh, and, and within that month, the, the therapist or will do a reevaluation on the patient to see where the patient's at. If uh, the patient's making progress, that they're going to do maybe another month in the pool, or if the patient, you know, met their goals and is ready to advance to a, a land-based uh, exercise program. And at that point, Dale would take them out to land. Dale, you look like you're about 16 years old, okay? Uh, and so you have, uh, and you, you say you have a child? Yes. Yeah, that's yes, great. Um, yeah. And um, believe me, folks, he, he's not 16 years old, but I mean, keep that young look. It's going to work you. for you Thank many you, yeah. years from now. Like mine, I, like, I'm only 43. Lisa's a little older than me, but I'm a 43. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. I mean, sure. what's your yeah. experience? I've been a physical therapist for seven years now. Uh -huh. um, I started in home care, and I'm actually new to the Lehigh Valley family. Um, just started at the, the wellness center two months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but in that time, you know, I worked with Gene a lot and it's, you know, it's a great experience. Mm -hmm. Now, so therefore, your um, role as a physical therapist is to get that person and to decide whether that person goes to Gene. So in other words, Gene right. doesn't decide, he just takes what he's given. A lot of times the doctors might refer specifically for aquatic therapy or they might just refer for, um, a diagnosis such as low back pain mm -hmm. and we determine there if they will tolerate a land-based uh, program or if an aquatic program would be better for them. All right, so then, then that's where the determination comes. Yeah. Okay, folks, I'm talking to uh, Gene Myers who is the aquatic therapist and physical therapy assistant at the um, uh, Health and Wellness Center in Hazleton and Dale Ambosi who is a physical therapist. Uh, it's, it's a fabulous program, folks. I mean, uh, particularly for those who are aching, you know, call your doctor, but when you, when you get there, it's very refreshing. We'll talk a little bit more about the results uh, from some of these. What was the worst case scenario? And why should you, if you're having any aches and pains, 
get to the aquatic therapy. The number there is um, 570-501-LVH. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Sam Lasan Show. Remember, 24-7, you can watch all of our programs on SSPTV.com. All of the health shows that we do uh, on the, uh, the website, 24-7. Uh, My email is Sam, S-A-M, at SSPTV.com. Remember, we're HD now on 513 in Service Electric Cable Vision. Uh, and uh, so Channel 13 and 513 on Service Electric Cable Vision in the Wilkes-Barre area. Uh, Mountaintop, Wilkes-Barre, and Kingston on Service Electric Communications, Channel 92, Saturday and Sunday evenings. And of course, Lackawanna County now, adding another 80 or 90,000 households to our, our uh, home, uh, our programming on Channel 190, Sunday and Saturday mornings from 8 to 12. Pottsville, 190 every day. My guest today, Gene Myers, aquatic therapy, physical therapy assistant, and Dale Ambosi, physical therapist. Now, this is an aquatic um, uh, therapy program that the, uh, at the Health and Wellness Center, Lehigh Valley Health Network, just a bar keeps getting raising and raising. Um, the, the benefit of aquatic therapy is what, Gene? Well, it would be to reduce pain, improve strength, improve mobility, you know, basically getting that be uh, patient to return to a normal function pre-injury. All right, so give me, an, give me um, uh, a, a case study or someone, you know, uh, without mentioning names of a, some patients who have, how, when they started, what they had, what you did, and the results. Uh, the, the one patient I had, he was in his upper 70s, close to 80 probably per se, and uh, I actually, was on land that day, because I do do land therapy uh, periodically, periodically, and I saw him come in, and he was on my, on my list, and I was working with him, and I went over, and I could see he was in a lot of discomfort, and you know, I, I said to him, you know, what's going on? You know, I'm, I'm Gene, I'm gonna be working with you today. You know, we're, we're, you know, it seems like you have a lot of pain. And he said, yeah, he said, this land therapy's really not you know, working out too well. I, I leave here doing the exercise, and, and I seem to get more pain from this. So, I spoke with the therapist. Uh, what, was, what was his problem? Back? Back yeah. pain. Yeah, back, I'm sorry, okay. back pain, yeah, yep. Okay. Uh, so I spoke with the therapist. I said, how about we try this guy in the pool? This is a, you know, a real typical pool patient right here. So she transferred him to the pool, and uh, from the second he hit the water, he did really well. And by that second visit, his pain was basically controlled, uh, and we were able to progress from that point on. Uh, the way he would enter the pool going up and down the steps was just remarkable from the time when he came and there's so much pain where he's basically you know struggling to get down the steps and then he could walk in walk right out of the pool uh, the treatment was able to be advanced you know well, and he, what kind of treatment did he get uh, he did the uh, aquatic treadmill we started with that and at the end he was up to 25 minutes on that from the first visit he was doing five minutes on okay. uh, and then the exercises that I would do for a low back patient uh, he started maybe 10 reps, and at the end, he was at 30 reps of doing them. No medication? No medication. Well, yeah. the, he was on medication, uh, but, uh, but, but this but nothing, is from, other, from starting the pool yeah. to, to ending in the pool. And, and what do you think, what, 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 what attributes to the fact that he was able to have that much relief? The relief from the water, from the buoyancy. Is it uh, muscles? Is it, is it, is it, what do they teach you about? Well, about? The, the water supports the patient, so it takes the weight off the patient and, and just makes movement easier and pain-free. So he was able to exercise and strengthen muscles without the pain that he was getting on land. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the end of his treatment, we did some spinal unloading, which would be basically he would float on a tube, which would cause some spinal distraction that opens up the spine and lets things just relax and kind of settle down. Mm -hmm. And that, that would take away the symptoms he was having down his leg. Uh, it, 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 he just was a really good uh, aquatic candidate, and he responded well, you know, to the treatment. Now, is he still coming to aquatic? No, he's 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 graduated per se. He's is that done. right? Yep. So yep. he's he's it was it cured him to a uh, to yep. a degree. Yep, and he actually joined the fitness program that we have at the That's wellness fabulous. center and works out on land. Yep. You, you know how many hundreds of people are out there that have probably the same kind of back problems that can be relieved by that. Your um, uh, your experience, okay, and mm -hmm. what you're doing. Um, what specifically do you do then during the day of uh, this therapy? Are you working on people who have knees or shoulders or whatever? Yeah, a wide variety of, of issues, you know, but again, we're in the clinic on land, um, so away from the water. If we see someone that isn't doing well or 
um, is in a lot of pain or just not tolerating the land-based therapy, we could, you know, call the doctor and see if that, you know, might be something that they could start the aquatic program. Um, because again, the water not only provides resistance, you know, so it could actually be beneficial for strengthening, but it also supports the movement too. Mm -hmm. So some, some movements that they can't tolerate against gravity or, you know, just in a regular land environment, they could, you know, possibly do in an aquatic environment because it's supporting that movement. Okay. Now, I told you you look young, but you've been, you have a lot of years of experience. What, because you've seen so many people with different mm -hmm. conditions, um, what kind of what, what kind of advice can you give the people to stay healthier? You know, to whatever uh, their joints, mm -hmm. their muscles, their bones, their head. Like me, yeah. I need help. Do you have a head work up there? I need mean, someone to take care of. Head. <laughs> we have everything. Uh, yeah. You're laughing, Gene. You think I really need it, don't you? <laughs> no, you're uh, all right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, regular exercise and activity is very important. Um, you know, as we as we age and a, a program, you know, just getting started a little bit at a time, you know, if you're not used to the exercise or activity, just, you know, a walking program, just a little bit each day, um, and go from there and, and build yourself up to a little bit more developed program. I have a, a lot of elderly people that watch the show. Thank you, incidentally. Um, and some of them, you know, they, they learn from, you know, the doctors and people like you that come on, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and they feel so so, but you know, most of them are stationary. I mean, they'll get up, maybe take a cup of coffee, read the paper, mm -hmm. walk here, whatever. But they're not that active, okay? Um, particularly in the winter time, okay? So, wh what are some words of advice, you know, in terms of, you know, keeping them a little bit mobile, um, you know, if they're, you know, if they're stationary in the in the home? In the home, yeah. Even I mean, walking in the home, just standing at the at the kitchen sink, you know, getting their tolerance build up for you know, putting weight through their, you know, through their legs and, you know, any type of uh, exercises that they could do in the sitting position or, or lying down. Um, we also have the fitness center at our center also. That's, that's great. And a lot of, um, you know, all age groups come to that and use our equipment. And it's very nice. You, you know what I found sometimes when I talk to some people, they'll come up and say, hey, I saw what's your name on the phone. But, and, you know, Sam, I, I'm a little bit embarrassed to go up there because everyone's up there, you know, they're fit. And I feel embarrassed because I'm not fit. I'm a little overweight. And, you know, they have these inhibitions about, you know, going up there. Okay, how do we relieve? Because I tell them, you know, don't even be concerned about it. But it's easy to say. But how do we let them know that? You know, everyone's welcome. I mean, it Absolutely. doesn't make you know, it doesn't make any difference how you look. I mean, I mean, I'm handsome, so that takes care of the, the little belly I have. But how about those people that you know have a little inhibitions? Well, everybody, you know, everybody's different, and we try to make everyone healthier and uh, live a better, better life. So, um, you know, everybody's welcome. You know, and we'll start you off with a, you know, a, a program that's fit for you, and then we'll go and progress it from there. See, that's where the experience comes in, and that's mm -hmm. what I love about the Health and Wellness Center. Everyone there is trained to know what specific, uh, you know, mobile, uh, mobi uh, what do you call the, uh, I can't think of the word, but anyway, what they should be getting. Okay, folks, I'm talking to Gene Myers uh, from the Aquatic Center up there, and uh, the Health and Wellness Center, and Dale Ambosi, uh, aquatic therapy. Uh, interesting, folks, especially if you have some, if you're aching a little bit, um, it's something to look into. We'll be back right after this. Thanks for staying with us, folks, who are talking about aquatic therapy at the Health and Wellness Center. I have Gene Myers here, an aquatic therapist, and Dale Ambosi, who was a physical therapist. So the aquatic uh, therapy is, is, is a great opportunity for people who just need a little bit more uh, juice, correct, Gene? Yep, get some moving. All right. And uh, you, um, as a physical therapist, um, you, you're able to decide, you know, uh, or recommend a person should go in aquatics, okay? Uh, just as we, when, when the, during the break, uh, Lisa was saying there's many uh, physical programs going up there. You have the Mall Walkers program with the Laurel Mall. We have the Silver Sneakers, correct, Lisa? Okay. Uh, there's just a ton of things that are available for people that could fit in. Um, but I'll tell you, um, I probably know of, of uh, a lot of people when we did health shows, they'll come up, you know, I tried this. I went to see Portnova. I went to see Dr. Hochner, Dr. Bevins, or whatever. And um, the interesting thing is the, the, um, uh, the fact that everybody is so well connected and everyone is, you're not coming into an isolated place. Mm -hmm. You have all people around you to help with you. Am I correct? Yep. And I'm sure there's references going back and forth. You, know, you can you know, check with each other back yeah. and forth. We all work together with, you know, between doctors, nurses, yeah. you know, yeah. therapists. 
Well, welcome aboard the Lehigh Valley Network. Thank it's, you. Uh, it's a great network. It's really brought a lot of great health um, ideas and, and, and providing a lot of opportunities here in, in northeastern Pennsylvania. Gene, it's nice to see you again. Good to see you, Sammy, okay. as always. Uh, um, keep the good work up there. Uh, uh, well, maybe I'll sneak in at night just to do, uh, you know, my, my physical exercise. So you, you, you have to have a prescription, right? Yeah. Well, could I have the key and maybe I could sneak in the key? Anything for you. Oh, I like okay. that, Gene. Gene Myers, folks, uh, Aquatic Therapy and, and Dale Ambosi. Uh, the number to call if you want more information. A lot of activity, folks. No reason for you to be sitting home not getting some uh, exercising. 501, it's 570 501 for LVH, and remember, you can watch all of the health shows on SSPTV.com. We'll see you next time.